um, she said something about like how sad it is to like talk to yourself. Let's see if I can find the, the comment real quickly. Yeah. Um, and it, it's one of those things where um, I think um, we have so many comments. I, we have like hundreds of comments right now. Um, it, it's one of those things where a lot of people, they focus on giving compassion and loving other people. And one of the challenges that a lot of people have is that they feel like giving themselves love is this kind of weird thing that they shouldn't be doing or it's like um, it, it just doesn't make sense to them or something like that. And it, it might feel that way at first when you're doing it. However, at least in my own experience, what I found is it's more like it's more like trying on a new pair of pants right? Like when you first try to put the new pair of pants on, it's like this awkward thing that you're doing. But then, you know, you buy the pants and you take it home and you wear the pants a few times. Next thing you know, they're your best fitting pants. You love these pants. You're like, you know, dancing around and showing these pants off, you know? And, and I found that this, it's the same thing when it comes to like having compassion for yourself and loving yourself and, and doing a lot of these things that Marnie's talking about here. So- yeah, I was just going to say about that. Look, here's the thing. Um, it does feel awkward because most of us, we weren't trained up to talk nicely to ourselves. In fact, um, most people have a belief that the way that we get stuff done is kicking our own ass, right? Like, you know, whether it was like study harder or work harder or, and, and that might be how you experienced even love growing up was like people who love me, like, you know, kick my butt. Um, so it's, I want to tell you right now, there's something that we always say on our campus. You are going to have to be in uncomfortable spaces to change, right? The only way to get what you want is to do moves that feel weird and uncomfortable. Um, you know, it's like, I love the pants. Uh, analogy. Um, I just read that uh, if you're not a millennial, uh, well, if you're any age over a certain amount, you're not supposed to be wearing skinny jeans anymore. It's like skinny jeans, right? <laughs> They're comfortable, right? Like the flare thing, like you have to wear a higher shoe or now they're straight leg pants. I'm like, I just want to wear my comfy, cozy skinny jeans with a big shirt over it. Right. And that's, and we have to keep, we have to keep up for what it is that we want and we have to have a new identity. Um, I love Josie's comment talking to myself. That seems so sad. Yeah. I would love to know what seems sad about it. Um, <laughs> what's sad, Josie? What's sad? Yeah. What's sad. And here's what I think she might be saying is because she's giving herself, um, compassion she fe and feelings will come up. And my guess is that when you do it for the first time and you really hit a nerve, you might actually feel sad, right? Because you're actually loving on a part of yourself that actually needs love. And what I want you to understand is that when you turn towards yourself, it's like you think the guys are over here, right? Like they're in the other side of the room, right? And so you guys are focused on that and talking to yourself and doing this process feels sad and hard and uncomfortable. Guess what? The quality guys are over there and you're over there. So if you turn toward yourself, you're actually facing in the right direction. It's like mm. you're shopping in the wrong mall, people. Yeah, for sure. For sure.